good morning everybody out there in YouTube land. I hope you're, excuse my hand, I hope you're all fine and dandy on this fine Monday morning. It is the weekend of the video disaster and the loss of the film footage. Although not to worry, or not to worry much because we have that in hand. Um, where am I? Right, it's, it's Monday morning. It's, uh, it's, I've got a day off. I'm not working today, so that's good. Um, it's a bit chilly, there goes the weather report, but what I'm doing is, well I'll give you an update, um, bear with me a second. Right, good to go. So, the update is that, um, first of all I'm going to get coffee this morning, um, I shan't look at the camera because somebody quite rightly pointed out it is dangerous to drive and look into a camera. I understand that. And they're perfectly right. That was an absolutely right thing to say. That was a right thing to point out. It's an observation that was uh, that was absolutely spot on. And uh, they are right, and I apologize for that. I shouldn't be looking at cameras when I am driving. So I will do my utmost to avoid eye contact with the camera. So anyway, I hope you're gonna turn that down a bit. Um, so this morning, well, let's just go through it. Friday, or was it Friday? Thursday, Hazel noticed um, that, lucky, thank the Lord for Hazel, because she noticed that um, the MOT on Kez, my camper, was due, um, or it was out, today which is Monday so we quickly phoned up the uh, local MOT office had a quick word with them got it booked in pronto got it into a garage to have it all checked over get it MOT'd they put it through the MOT she failed no great shakes there I kind of knew that she would um, because obviously I've only had her I haven't I've only had her since well for the last few months so there's you know no prizes for me for guessing that there was probably going to be some issues with her. Um, so anyway, I've... Bear with me right. a second. I'm ever so sorry about that rude interlude. That break in transmission, as it were. Um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I did have to get my coffee. Otherwise, I just can't function without it first thing in the morning. As I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same. Whatever your... Uh, whatever your liquid drug of choice is first thing in the morning be it tea or coffee or whatever um so yeah so she went in there were issues um the handbrake wasn't holding um on all sides in fact it was only really holding on the driver's side it wasn't holding on the passenger side which obviously is a a big thing and needed doing front gator um was split and there were some other little issues, tiny little issues that needed doing. So, uh, I don't know how much that's going to cost, but I'm, I, I dare say it's a pretty penny. But you know what? I know that these are things that needed doing because the garage that I... I'm one of those lucky people um, that I'm very blessed in having a garage close to me that... Or an MOT centre that I trust. You know, they, they're good guys got a relationship with them they're they're they're, they're a good mot center and i trust them fully we we don't really go anywhere else so if they tell you something's not right or something's wrong then they're on the ball they will they will you know it's not it's not fabricated it's not a lie and if they say they'll do work they will do work um and they're not overly expensive i don't think so anyway not as far as um you know mot's and what have you can go in this day and age so that's all good um, I'm going to stop here because I don't want people on either side of me in the car thinking I'm a lunatic talking to nothing. Um, so yes, so that's good. So she's, the guy's getting estimates on doing her today, fixing her up, and then hopefully, um, well, not hopefully, once the work's done, she should go through the MOT perfectly, well she will go through the MOT perfectly fine I'm sure. I'm sure it could have been a lot worse. I'm sure there could have been a, you know, it could have been a darker time for me and Kez. 
um, had she gone to a different MOT centre and garage, or had there been a lot, a lot more problems, or a lot, a lot more problems? Yes, there have been many more problems with her. So that's good that uh, she 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 sort of gone there, and there isn't as many problems as we anticipated. Um, so I am lucky in that respect, I think. Uh, always put a positive spin on things. That's my belief. Although it was hard this weekend to put a positive spin on the loss of footage. But that's in hand now, it's going to be dealt with, so all's good on that front. Um, yes, so this morning I wanted, well I wanted to put um, captain seats, swivel seats into Kez, purely and simply to sort of give it, give her a, a bit more seating, or certainly make the, um, the footprint inside her larger than it actually is. So what I'm going to do, where I had the um, where I had the L-shaped, um, I don't know what you, you call it, the L-shaped seating in there, I'm removing the um, part of it, and that then will allow the passenger swivel seat to swivel around anyway. It won't. Even though I'm getting one for the driver's side, um, the only reason I'm getting is A, because they're matching, and B, they come in a pair. If you bought one singularly, then it would cost probably, believe it or not, more than what I'm paying for these these two together. So it made sense to have two corresponding seats in there. Even though they don't, they might not both swivel, they'll both look good, and they'll both look, uh, you know, like they've been there forever. So that's good. Um, so they're not going to be mismatch. Um, so I've got those to go. I'm going to collect those today from Hamel Hempstead. Uh, I bought them online, so that's good. I put them on eBay, like I do most of my stuff. I'm either eBay or Amazon, like I'm sure most of you guys out there are. Um, I'm trying not to be, but you know, in the way life's got now, it's so fast and furious, and uh, it, it, you know, it's, the pace is so quick that you've got to go for the easiest and quickest option. I'm about, I'm either working, I'm either investigating, I'm either doing X, Y, and Z. I've got the kids or what have you. So juggling that and going shopping, it's not on my list. I hate shopping anyway, as you know. So yeah, so I'm picking those seats up and they'll hopefully get installed at some point very soon. And um, yeah, it should be all systems go from there. So very excited about picking the seats up. I think it will look, she will look a lot better. There'll be easier access through the side door and um, the return unit or the return seating off of the L-shaped uh, L-shaped seating will be gone, so that will mean that there's more room in the back. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's just more room in the back, so that's good. Obviously, it's Monday morning. People are not doing school runs. People are off to work, so it's super, super busy, and I'm doing about two miles an hour. So I hope that's all good, guys. I'm so sorry I've not made eye contact, but the person who pointed out that it's dangerous was absolutely quite right. And, um, yeah. So, right. Okay, guys, I will speak to you all later. Have a good day. Have a jolly good week. And uh, <clears throat> look after yourselves. Stay safe. And uh, look out for each other. Look after each other. Be there for one another. And take good care of each other, of one another. You know those are all good things. See you later, guys. Bye.